friends, welcome back to my channel. So this video is a collective haul and try on. Um, I'm not going to make this intro too long, so if you're new here, hey, hi, um, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos. The reason I don't want to make the intro too long is because I have a lot to show you and you know that your girl likes to ramble at times, go off on little tangents, sprinkle little storylines to go with the different pieces and I already know just by looking at some of these things actually including what I'm wearing right now I'm gonna have to give you a little bit of background inspiration or like what these pieces do to my heart and my soul and what they remind me of in life and it, it gets really dramatic so I'm just gonna have to start right now or this video is going to be a good 12 years long so first things first, let's address the paper bag princess in the room. That would be me. So this outfit is by a brand that I really love out of Morocco. And the brand is called Mil Souls. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And I'm going to leave a discount code for you guys down below if I can get one. I'm pretty sure I can. Um, I just love their pieces. The quality is amazing. They are a little bit on the pricier side, which is why I hope I can get a discount code for you guys. But honestly, it, the quality is absolutely worth it. And the pieces are so unique. Now, I know this is a piece that is going to be love it or hate it. I personally love it. As I said, it reminds me of the paperback princess story. I find like the, the actual body of the dress, of course, has that slight potato sack, slight feeling, you know. Um, but then you have these sleeves that are just like boom colorful flames happening and I just I love it. it's so unique I love the tassels um, Details at the neckline as well and the lace up in the front and the back. It's really really pretty So I wanted to start off by showing you this because I really really like it now this dress I feel like you could you could dress it up you could do it with a heel but then you can also do it with a more casual look and hopefully I'm going to be showing you both options. But um, I really want to show these shoes because it's by the same brand and I like it with this dress as well for a more casual look. I believe they're called Raffia shoes, Raffia shoes, oh my gosh, somebody out there is going to correct me and be like, girl, you don't know what Raffia or Raffia shoes are? No, clearly I didn't. I believe that's just, is that... Is that referring to, you know, the um, fabric? Is it? You tell me right now. Uh, anyway, so it ties up around your ankle, as you can see. What I like about it is that, um, obviously, they are a neutral tone and that straw look that is obviously very cute for the summer. But I don't know how... I, can we get a lie detector test in here? I don't know how I'm going to express this to you because I feel like somebody's going to think I'm lying. But these are very 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 comfortable and I was gonna wear them even if they weren't because I just like how they look so I was pleasantly surprised when I put my t size 10 hooves into these shoes and they actually felt comfortable so I'm really really excited to be wearing these a lot this summer so they are true to size if you are a size 10 you know we have chest issues they are true to size and they're actually very comfy next I want to share some accessories some more accessories these I know are very trendy right now, the retro style frames. I'm going to leave everything below that I can for you guys because I don't want to come in here and just like guess where everything's from because I can't even remember offhand where some of these things are from. I get kind of mixed up. Um, but I did choose these off of a website and it's either Romwe or Shein or Make Me Chic. One of those. And I like them because they are a rose gold um, metallic finish i've seen a lot of gold i haven't seen a lot of rose gold so that's what excited me a little bit okay next are these glasses that i got from asos.com and i absolutely love the little baggie that came with it that's probably totally irrelevant but i do like them and you'll see why in a second why these excites me um so these are the frames here and they have a bit of a tortoise shell sort of frame retro style for sure and they kind of look like Prada frames but not the Prada price tag so shout out all <laughs> that didn't come out right so shout out to all the moms and the new moms out there hi 
Um, so I am a new mom and I am a little bit ridiculous and it was necessary for me to have about 12 diaper bags. No, um, I was having this little conflict of interest where um, I just realized I'm showing a little bit too much of my personality. Some of you guys can be like, who is this person? This is, this is actually me. This is me when I'm not in a chill mode. This is, this is me. I'm pretty quirky. Anyways, I needed a bag that I like to call a mom bag. So it's not just functioning as a diaper bag, but it's also a mom that has gotten her groove back and wants to wear the old things she used to wear, but still looking really cute and chic. But having a bag that can function as a diaper bag if I need to put stuff in there. So that's where this bag came into um, the scene. Rose gold, holographic goodness, and it was affordable, ASOS.com. Big, goes with a lot of things. This is my jam right now. And hate to do this to excite some of you. It's my makeup bag that I put inside of it. This is actually a gift, so I, I'm not trying to tease you, but if you if you get the feels over things like metallics, then I just have to show it to you because it excites me to on my wallet. My wallet too, sorry, sorry. I know, I'm doing too much. I'm doing too much. I put it away, put it away, but I just had to share that. And what I do is I actually take my diaper bag insert and I just plop it in here when I want to wear this. So it has all the diaper bag goodies in it, but then it also has stuff for me in it when I want to be that mom. Next up, I'm conflicted sharing this because I never really liked the price of these hats. I'm really cheap at times. But anyways, the brand is called Lack of Color and it's very ironic because I'm, I'm all about the color, but, um, and this is quite colorful. So I'm not sure what the meaning is behind their, their name, but I love this hat. Do I wish it was a little bit bigger? Yes, I do. But it's an ongoing struggle when you have a big head. Um, and don't tell me it's the hair. I have fine, low density hair. It's never the hair, it's the head. But anyways, I love it. It's the biggest size I had. And I got it when they had a sale on, so that made it a little bit better. It is from Australia. And that's all I have to say about it. I just love the color. I think it's beautiful for the spring and the summer. And I had to share it with you because, actually, can I just keep it on? I'm just gonna keep it on for now. And the hat is off. I, I was gonna start sweating. I had to, <laughs> to be realistic. So the next dress, I'm going to try and make this really, really fast, this little storyline. But basically, I got this dress because it reminded me of my wedding dress. And I have this idea for the summer. It is my five year wedding anniversary. And now we have our baby, Zen, which is short for Zen Day. And, um, we want to include him when i say we it's me and then my husband's just so accommodating and so nice and loving that he goes along with my crazy ideas so i'm saying we but you know it's me anyways so we want to retake our wedding photo but with zen in the photo so i wanted to find a dress that resembled my wedding dress just enough but not like full out um so it had that feeling and then my husband will be wearing something that kind of resembles what he was wearing and then Zen will be in all white to look like the bouquet so he'll be in our hands where the bouquet was do you get it you get the vision anyways peplum style it was actually on sale from ASOS I had to get it because it's perfect for the vision that I have in my mind next up is this swimsuit here you can also wear it as a bodysuit it is off the shoulder and I just really love the colors and the design and the fact that I still have a little bit of a baby bump I am working on. So this is really great for concealing the, the belly a little bit. Next I have this gorgeous, gorgeous, very, very long. I'm 5'9", it's long on me, so I'm just putting that out there if you want to know about it. Um, pleated skirt you're seeing these accordion style skirts a lot of places a lot of stores online have them right now but what i like is the blush pink tone i think it looks really nice with rose gold accessories of course um and i just i love the color and i i like that thought of kind of dressing it down as well like putting my hat with it and just tying a tank top 
um, showing like a little bit slight midriff or you can you could put it on top of a, a bodysuit as well it would look really pretty so this next piece is from that Moroccan company I told you about it already and what can I say the color is absolutely gorgeous it's a nice very thick fabric it just feels really expensive <laughs> um, and then look at the embroidery on the sleeve the balloon sort of sleeve which is beautiful and of course these nice heavy thick tassels and this is an awesome top if you're breastfeeding i have been so into off the, off the shoulder tops obviously it's just so much easier when you're breastfeeding you just let it hang pull over let it hang okay do what you gotta do next this is a dress that i selected from a website and i like it for the summer of course Again, off the shoulder, easy for breastfeeding again. Um, but I just like the floral print and I like where the floral hits, so it hits the belly. Again, that's an area that a lot of people have issues with, so it's not gonna have your belly looking like it's, you know, it's not gonna show the belly as much. It's going to make that area seem flatter and the white is obviously gonna pop more. That's just kind of how it works with your eyes. And I like how the back has a bit of the um, the floral print on the bum as well. I don't know about you, but whenever I wear a white dress, I just hate the thought of it being kind of see-through. That everyone knows your business. So this dress right here is... This is a dress that if I were to create a capsule wardrobe, meaning small portion of my clothes from my closet that I pull often to wear this would be one of them because it's nice breezy fabric love the color and then again very easy as a breastfeeding mom and it also just is so romantic doesn't it remind you of Juliet next is this beautiful short romper from toby.com and obviously it's beautiful floral muted colors um what i like is see that color right there that sort of muted coral blushy tone i like to wear it with this so it kind of pulls out that color a bit more i don't know if you can see that good and then again i like it with like a rose gold sort of um, accessories as well of everything I'm showing you today aside from maybe what I'm wearing and another thing I'm going to show you this is my fave <laughs> so it is a denim tiered actually there's only one layer so it's not that tiered but it is tiered um, <laughs> denim halter dress this is from asos.com that ruffle trend that is you know everywhere right now and then that low neckline that is quite convenient again I know I keep saying this but if you are breastfeeding I'm just saying you can just pull down the strap this piece here I selected from a website that again I can't remember right offhand I'm on the fence I don't know if I really like the fit of it I like where they were going with it but I don't think it was executed as nicely as it could have been However, given the style of it, it will be super cute for a mom and me sort of matching romper look with my baby. I'm going to be quite frank about that. I enjoy that. I enjoy that. This is another piece that I actually selected on a website and um, actually it might be Toby.com. I'm not sure. I have to double check. But basically it is a sweater dress in this camel sort of color and obviously it has the cutouts at the shoulders but i'm not sure how i feel about it just yet i guess i'm just not sure if it's gonna fit me as a dress in which case if it doesn't if it's too short i don't know how i'm gonna feel about that these ruffle sleeve um shirts you're probably seeing everywhere and getting sick of by now but i find them really flattering and i didn't have it in white so I did select one in white. I showed you guys the one in blue gingham in my video. I think it was my how to hide a belly video. So yeah, I really, really like this and I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. 
You know that whole theory of the one that got away? I feel like that about this swimsuit here because ASOS.com did it. They did it in three colors and I regret missing out on every single color. I just kept eyeing it and eyeing it and then it was sold out. So I selected this on a website because it was similar. It's not the same thing, but it's close. It's definitely a first cousin, but they're not, they're not twins. Um, I like it. I feel like the quality of the ASOS may have been a bit, um, the fabric I mean may have been something I would have preferred, but I like it enough and I'm going to probably pair it with this fringe skirt when I go to Barbados in the summer. I think that would look really cute together and the skirt is from Toby.com. This is another piece that I selected on a website. Again, I am not 100% sure if I like how it looks in person compared to when I saw it online. I'm just being honest with you, but when I try it on for this video, I may eat my words. This is a classic style. I always like that whole doll neckline. Um, reminds me of Wednesday Adams from the Adams Family. I really like it. Also feels very Parisian and chic, and I know exactly which shoes I'm going to put with this because I just have the vision in my head. The last pieces are these sporty pieces here. Um, it's just a hoodie and then I got these leggings to go with it and I'm thinking these are Adidas inspired. Um, I just, I thought this would motivate me to work out. Who am I kidding? So yeah, there's that. I think it looks cute together. I love to know which pieces are your favorite. I absolutely go through every comment and I take it in. I really love it. That excites me to know what suits your personality, your personal style. I just love hearing that. So you may think I'm just saying that to wrap things up, but I genuinely love knowing what people like. And a lot of times you guys surprise me. I'll be thinking, oh, everyone's gonna love this piece. Wait a minute, hold up. Stop the presses! I just realized I forgot my very favorite piece. <laughs> okay, hashtag, hashtag, jumpsuit goals, hashtag, whatever you can think of. This right here I absolutely love. Now, it has a little bell sleeve, the hem of the culotte, bottoms have a bit of a frilly, frilly bottom right there. It's just, Mwah. you know, that's how I feel. It's by Misguided. I got it on ASOS.com. I love that sort of off the shoulder feel. I think it's very, very chic. I just, there are no words, okay? I hope some of you appreciate it like I do and don't think I'm a total lunatic. Okay, you guys aren't even gonna believe this. You're gonna think I'm absolutely insane right now. But just as I thought it was done, I read a comment that someone just left on my Instagram talking about something that I posted a while ago and I really wanted to show them in this video, but I would have forgotten. So now I gotta show you. Hold up. So I call these my little leprechaun shoes right here. And I wore these on St. Patrick's Day and it felt really good. We really did. Uh, so they're just like some mules, obviously, as you can see, in gold. These big, obnoxious bows, and these are from ASOS.com. I got them in, I believe, I think I got them in the size 11. And it says size 9 on them, and I don't know why, because they're definitely not a 9. They are the 11s. Love them. I had to share these with you. Mules are everywhere right now. So if you're looking for a pair, I will hopefully still be able to find the link and leave it below for you guys. And now I'm really, really going. I promise you, I'm gone right now. Bye-bye.